Okay, this is the uh, Kroll KK30 uh, combination boiler. Just approach the boiler. What you can see here is the control panel. Uh, the water temperature is currently set to about, or uh, running at about 62 degrees. This thermostat controls the uh, water temperature when the burner gun takes over. Uh, these three switches are just to set up the log and uh, burner automatic mode, which is what it's currently on. Have a quick look inside the combustion chamber here for the timber. Got to be a bit careful doing this. Open the door slowly. Okay, we've just got a small load of timber in there. These uh, door latches, by the way, or handles, are um, pretty much childproof. It's a double action uh, handle. If you open the handle just like that, and pull against it, um, it won't open. You've got a, there's a double action. Um, okay, what we've got at the top here is the uh, primary or flame length control. And down the bottom below that we've got the um, secondary air control, which um, slightly adjusts the colour of the uh, flame in the gasifying lower chamber. We've got our fire going there. I'll try and get a picture in here. There we go. And we can see coming down. We've got the, the flame. Now I'll very carefully open this bottom chamber. And we can see. wait till she gets going again. And we'll have a quick sneaky peek. There we go. And when you interfere with the air mixture, the flame chops out and then starts up again as you can see. What we've got set up on the right hand side here is the uh, backup burner gun. And in this case it's uh, an Arco BR-10 burner gun. Uh, this burner will, gun will come on when the uh, timber fireplace is depleted, or the timber fire is depleted. And the drop in um, flue temperature is detected it will then decide to switch over to the burner gun because it thinks that the uh, the timber or the log side has um, burned itself out. In a, another video we'll show everyone the inside of this combustion chamber here. Just going back up the top, these handles here, one on the left, one on the right. Here's the left hand side one. What these do is uh, move a um, helical coil inside the vertical fire tube so that um, the internal heat exchange of fire tubes for the timber side and the burner side are uh, not exactly self-cleaning but uh, will remove the um, soot that's inside the vertical fire tube. The soot then just drops to the bottom and then has to be cleaned out of the bottom. Just a quick look out the back here, and what we've got there is uh, the blower fan that the uh, log fire uses um, pretty much for its air supply, and unconnected we've got our safety connection for the um, safety heat exchanger that um, lets water flow 
into the uh, lower or the blue or the cold side there and evacuates hot water out of the boiler if um, the boiler overheats. Okay, and there's the Kroll specifications of the 30 kilowatt KK combination or dual fuel boiler. Probably something else just to mention before this finishes is that um, this burner on the right hand side here can be vegetable oil, diesel, waste oil, biodiesel. There's also a gas option and a timber pallet option burner gun available from, from Kroll. Okay, so thank you.